Want to wash your car quickly and safely in under 30 minutes? Keep watching and you're gonna find out exactly how. But first, let's see the results of what you can get in under 30 minutes with a few tips and tricks. Cue the montage. Want to get an amazing finish like that you've got to get yourself into the 30 minute mindset everything we do has to be as efficient as possible but also safe now i love my car and i'd never do anything to hurt it so trust me guys this wash is going to be completely safe and you're going to be amazed with the results right so let's talk about water source now you're probably thinking adam isn't a jet washer the quickest way to rinse your car wrong why because it takes so long to set the thing up and then you have to put it all away afterwards i love pressure washers but there is a bit of time added to get it set up and then put it away at least with my setup anyway what you guys need is one of these wall mounted hoses basically it avoids all the unreeling and reeling back in of a hose you just pull it out and it comes out and then when you let go it goes straight back in no tangles it's going to save you a ton of time right enough chatting onto the wash Now I always start with my wheels first because they're usually the dirtiest part of the car. First, spray the wheels with some Built Hamber Auto Wheel Cleaner. Spray down and across from the top of the wheel for maximum coverage, not forgetting to spray through the arches and cover the calipers. We then wait for around three to five minutes and the solution should turn a purple color. I like to agitate the wheels with a detailing brush to make sure it works into all the intricate parts. This stuff is hands down the best wheel cleaner I've used. It's gonna do a great job at breaking down baked on brake dust and save you a ton of time. And the best part is this stuff is 100% safe on your wheels. It has no acid or nasty stuff to worry about. Remember guys, 30 minute mindset. So while that's working on the wheels, grab yourself two buckets. One bucket we're gonna fill up with just water and the second bucket we're gonna fill up with our soap solution and water as well. We're using Meguiar's Ultimate Wash and Wax. The great thing about this is it's also going to give you a little bit of bonus protection from the wax. Then we're even going to add on some proper protection later too. Once you're done filling your buckets, your wheels should be ready. So give them a blast with your hose to reveal a nice and clean finish. Now, normally at this stage, we'd cover the whole car in snow foam to soften up any dirt and grime. But this is 30 minutes, people, and we haven't got time for that. But don't worry, I've got another solution. Instead, we're gonna be using a pre-rinse spray, which is actually gonna be just as effective, but much quicker. I'm using a product called Demon Machine from CarPlan. It's cheap and works great. Grab the bowl and work your way all around the bottom of the car. We want to focus on just the bottom because that's the part that picks up the most dirt and bugs. Pay special attention to the front of the car since that's going to be the spot with the most dirt. While we wait five minutes for the stuff to work its magic, keep moving. Use this time to make sure your hose is ready for the next step, the pre-rinse. Now we all know the pre-rinse stage. It's very simple, everyone knows it, but it's very, very important to get it right. The idea here is to spray off anything on the paintwork that could cause scratches when we come into contact with the car with our hand in soap. Make sure you spray all over the car, paying special attention to the low part of the car, which is most likely to have spots of dirt. Because we used our pre-wash spray, this rinse should be much more effective at removing the dirt, saving us a good amount of time. Promo! If you're enjoying this video guys, then please just take a moment to hit that like button. You won't believe how much this helps the channel out. And obviously, if you want to really make my day, you can hit that subscribe button because we love growing the channel. The more subscribers, the more great content. Anyway, back to the wash. Now it's time to get our hands on the car and give it a good proper wash. For this, you're gonna need a good quality wash mitt and two buckets. 
Now, if you haven't guessed already, we're gonna be using the two bucket method, a classic system. The way it works is we have two buckets, one wash and one rinse. We dip our wash mitt into the wash bucket with the soap, gently wash the paintwork. Then we dip our dirty mitt into the rinse and drain the excess water. This means that any grit and dirt goes into its own bucket and doesn't contaminate our nice soapy water. This method is great for avoiding scratches and swell marks. Use this process to work your way all around the car. Bonus. Before we discard our soapy water, grab your detailing brush or microfiber cloth, then dip it into the bucket and give your wheels another clean using the soapy water. The great thing about this is that the small wax protection included in the all-in-one shampoo is going to be applied to your wheels, which is going to add a little extra protection to keep them clean for longer. Because we can, here I'm also giving the outer edge of a tyre a quick clean with the brush as a bonus. Use the dry side to buffer and remove any access product and there you have it a shiny protected panel if done well this will provide your car with rain beading and protection for up to five months pretty crazy when you think about how easy it is to apply work your way around the entire car applying to a panel at a time then once done step back for a second just to admire that lovely clean shiny paint So how's that clock looking guys? Has it been 30 minutes yet? Trust me guys, this may seem like a lot of steps, but if you're efficient and you work hard, you can definitely get this done in under 30 minutes. Don't you just love that shiny wet look on a tire after a full detail? Well guys, you're in luck because I have a quick method to getting that in our 30 minute car wash. The product we're gonna be using is Meguiar's Endurance High Gloss Black Tire Gel. I love this stuff and as a bonus, it comes with a great little applicator which makes applying it a breeze. Simply spread the gel onto this foam applicator here, then carefully run it all the way around the tire. You should see the effects instantly, but you will find the shine and wet look increases as the gel does its magic around five minutes later. 
For me, that wet, shiny look can really make a difference when it comes to detailing the car, which is why it was important for me to find a quick way to include this in my 30 minute wash. Right, exhaust tips. Now this one's important guys, because if you don't clean your exhaust tips regularly, they're gonna build up a lot of dirt and they're gonna go black and it's gonna be really hard to get them back to their original shine. And it's gonna take ages and lots of hard work. And in 30 minute washes, we wanna completely avoid that. This is called Autosol Metal Polish. It's a legendary metal polish that's gonna make our exhaust look better than ever. Apply a good amount onto a microfiber cloth and work it into the cloth a little. Then get to work on those exhausts. It may be tricky to reach some of the tighter areas, but try your best to get in there. Work around in a circular motion following the contours of the exhausts. This can be hard work if your exhausts have not been cleaned for a while, but keep going and you will get an amazing shiny finish, as you can see here. I'm a details man myself, and I believe all the small things add up and make all the difference. Right guys, so there you have it. That is my full 30 minute detail on this car. Now I know we missed a few things out. Obviously in 30 minutes you can only do so much. So I included the things that I thought were the most important to take care of your car and make it look its best. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Um, if you did, then please hit that like button because it really helps me in the channel out. And of course, if you want to see more great content with this car and just general awesome car stuff, hit that subscribe button. Now I'm going to leave you guys with one last look at the car after its full detail shining in the sun. Enjoy. I'll see you guys next time.